What is up guys, Nolly here and welcome to another Payday 2 video. Today we're going to be looking at the prospective Xbox 360 and I believe PS3 update. This should be coming out within the next week or so. This is my forecast, don't take me on this, but um, it certainly seems now, now we've had a list for a short while that this stuff is definitely going to be coming and it's definitely going to be coming soon. So as far as the gameplay is concerned, you're first of all going to be looking at an armored transport mission on Park, uh, which is honestly, honestly my favorite armored transport mission within this DLC. There's none of those awful snipers to shoot at you. Um, and on top of that gameplay, I'm not sure what else you're going to be seeing because I don't think that gameplay is going to be long enough to fit this, the purpose of this video because I'm going to be talking to mainly the console guys about what you should be getting and what we on the PC already have and what I think of it. So the list is actually nearly a 3,000 word long document that I copy and pasted. Uh, but I've cut it down a little bit and we've shortened it just to make it a little more manageable and just pick on what is important. So just first of all, looking at the three big changes. They're overhauling the weapon system for you guys and introducing numeric values instead of the old bars. Now this is a system we've had for quite a while and you may have seen in my other videos. But it certainly helps you choose your gun in a much more efficient way. Next up we have a major change to the stealth system, balancing how much weapons, skills and armors affect your concealment. Concealment is a new thing added for you guys in this patch, whenever it is released, and basically it's the new stealth factor. The heaviest armors are really going to make it hard to stealth, and the lightest armors have actually been given slight buffs, which we'll look into later. Weapons in general actually do tend to be more concealable now, you've got assault rifles and SMGs you can conceal better, and so can the pistols. Also, the skill descriptions, this is the third of the three big changes. The skill descriptions have been rewit rewritten, this happened a while ago for us, to introduce numeric values and actually sort of go through more what the skill does. These specifics will really help, I assure you. You guys can check it out already, it's already out on the PC version, and you can see exactly what skills are doing. So, Looking at just sort of system things that have happened, now these are things that uh, changes that I'm quite experienced with because they've been around on PC for a long time. Tweaks in the economy system. Basically, your money you're going to be making on average is going to be lower. However, bags have become immensely important and certain missions are more profitable. Honestly, you guys, if I were you, I'd quickly make as much money as possible. It's going to be harder after this update. Made tweaks in skill costs with higher tiers now, tiers now being more balanced. Skills really cost more, I think, early on, and possibly less later. I'm not sure I ever really noticed that change, even though I did the skill builds. XP payout has been changed depending on difficulty. Basically hard, very hard, and overkill the only place where it's worth it now. They are definitely giving you more experience, whereas normal, it's staying around about the same. The pro job, again, has been increased. Except the thing about these um, statistics are, it's actually an increase from a slightly earlier patch. So you guys might not notice the increase the same on what you're currently on, the sort of beta version you guys have been playing. Uh, failure XP payout reduced slightly, that should not make a huge amount of difference. So the network has been improved, just some small changes to do with inviting friends. Sound has also been improved quite significantly. Uh, looking at new noises louder noises, uh, better ambient sounds, gun sounds are going to be better for you, and you're going to look at more voice commands and things from people like Bane, the Sniper and the Watch Dogs mission, and they're all quite good. Art, as they said, endless updates and fixes, just enjoy the game, looks pretty, things have been changed and optimised, look forward to that. Now here's the big section, this is the gameplay section. Uh, so car chases, which is something I made a video on a long time ago when it came out on PC, are now coming to you guys. Car chases are a pain. Okay, so it, it encourages stealthing, is what it does, because as long as you stealth, you're not going to get into a car chase. Um, but it also adds an extra perk, which can allow you to avoid... Well, it, it adds a change to the inside man skill that's going to allow you to change the... Or buy an asset that gets... Um, no escapes, which can be worth it on occasion. So here go a couple of the things that made your Xbox experience easier. Bags and revives cannot happen 
through walls. So basically you can't interact through walls to pick up bags, so there are lots of exploits for that as you guys should know. And also revives will be harder because you've got to actually be looking at the guy. Uh, not just doing it through some wall. Loot bags now show up in a growing pile in your escape car or chopper. I'm not sure why I left that in, that's quite simple, but it's also a relatively rewarding looking thing. Uh, EMCs, ECMs, sorry I should say, have been really buffed. You guys will understand why I believe in using them all the time. They are now going to stop pages from going off. Uh, if you place them before you kill the uh, guard, but of course you then have to answer the pager after your ECM runs out. Uh, killer Instinct for AI team, they are more aggressive and prone to stay alive even on the overkill difficulty. Making single player a generally easier experience, allowing to at least get um, get places with those sort of what are relatively stupid AI characters. Um, overkill is much harder now. We've been playing it on the PC for a long time. Don't worry, it's not too bad. Uh, single player has been made slightly easier overall for you. And what else have we got? Uh, you can now upgrade drills, so if someone places the drill down and they don't have the drill skill, you can upgrade that. That was a really good feature. I appreciated it when they added it. Next up we have, st we have stealth. Like I said, this is going to be quite a lengthy video. There is a lot for me to talk about. Um, so as I said before, weapons, skills and armors uh, can change your concealment by different values now. You can no longer sneak in the line of sight of an enemy even if you've got a very high stealth factor. Security cameras, uh, just sort of skipped a couple, but security cameras have been improved. They will now detect you faster. Yes, they certainly will. It's always going to be a pain when you, it's just something you have to adapt to though. It's something you can get used to. Detection ring is now added instead of the concealment bar. It's just a sort of simple way of looking at how the weapons are going to affect your concealment. Uh, armor, basically the heavier the armor, the harder it is to sneak. The heaviest armors, it's, well, nigh on impossible to be honest, you just want to stay back at home. Suits are now more powerful, really, more useful for you to bring along. Uh, and that is it. Weapon values are less punishing now, so you can stealth slightly easier with things like assault rifles. Armor, this is a big one for light armor. They now have dodge values, so the lighter you are, the higher chance of dodging bullets. Of course, dodging is going to work a little bit like uh, armor itself because it just means you can soak up more bullets even though they're not physically hitting you. Uh, movement rates for armors less armor, the faster, the more armor, the absolute slower. You want like a snail in the Iron Man armor without the sprint speed perk. And what else? Yeah, armor penalty now affects steel sight speed, crouching speed, and in a uh, movement speed. Basically, the lighter the armor. Um, well, actually, it just it sort of teaches you to use the middle of the range armor, so it's not just best armor or lightest armor. You know, the the ones in between now have uses. Lightweight ballistic is, for example, quite good. Uh, the the crime dot net has been changed. Some menu fixes as well. So these are looking at the experience tweaks. Three day jobs and two day jobs are now more profitable than one day jobs, uh, making you want to do things like fire starter. Okay, all contracts will appear at some point. You don't have to wait forever. I remember doing that on PC and it being a real pain. Uh, you can now buy contracts as well, which was a great feature. Remember, you can buy your jewelry stores now and absolutely ground out your masks. And of course, the pages are going to be working with the ECM jammer. So that tutorial I uploaded an absolute age ago is now far more useful. Um, improved payouts. So... This is sort of debatable, it's a big long section. Basically the more bags you get, the greater the payout. You just do missions vanilla, you rush them. It was basically a way to stop people from rushing missions like rats. It didn't entirely work, it just made it less profitable to do so. Not the end of the world, not a huge change really. Assuming you guys are relatively wealthy. I'm not right now after all the money I spent on skill builds, but hey. Um... And that is about it. The rest are all sort of around and about changes. So, the HUD has been changed in places, but they're just things associated really to in-game changes. Loot drop has been changed. This is something you'll be interested in. 
can no longer have two or more of the same weapon mod. Oh, this is an ancient relic of a change for PC. You guys are finally getting it. It's going to make it a lot easier to collect all the math masks and the patterns. And obviously materials and other things. Uh, experience cards have been added. Not the world's biggest change. They're alright. You won't see them in, late in the game. So like they obviously haven't affected me since I'm level 100. Um, and much better cash cards. Yeah, that was actually quite a big change. Cash cards are sort of not the worst things to get necessarily now. Uh, you can get up to about 100,000 on your cash cards instead of 20,000. That is a huge difference. Some awesome new things you're going to be looking at are four new masks. Of course, that is Mr. and Mrs. Mannequin, Kawhi, and Dr. Crime, was it? I can't remember. The robotic looking one. Four new patterns. I forget what they were. And four new materials. I remember there are some really good looking materials. Was it the chrome purple one added in this? That's a really nice looking one. That is, this is the diamond store update. It doesn't actually specify that the diamond store is in this update, but I would have assumed it would be. Uh, all masks are now shown in your mask stash, so now you can see what you're missing. Certainly worth having. And, okay, we've still got a couple more changes to go through. So law enforcers, basically bulldozers in this update, are going to become far more powerful. Again, they're already quite powerful. They're now going to throw smoke grenades, they're going to take more bullets, they're using a shotgun. Um, but the spawn rates have been balanced, so you're not going to be seeing too many on the lower difficulties. Snipers shoot less often and hit very hard. They can be a real pain on some missions now, I have to admit. They're quite effective. Tasers have more health and, as it says, are a bit more sadistic. I imagine that kind of means that they mess around with you and then tase you and then don't tase you, take cover, tase you. Become even more of a pain. The same guy tasing you a few times. Uh, flashbangs are really bad in this update. Uh, you get flashed, you're probably out for 10 maybe even 15 seconds of blindness. They're also going to make you go deaf, so you can't hear. Um, and also, tweaks from the AI system in this that I remember happening and being a real pain at first. You guys are going to have to get used to it. They now group together, so you get tasers, shields, and heavy swats all coming at you at once. Tasers with bulldozers. That's going to be a real pain, as you can imagine. You're getting tased. How are you going to shoot the bulldozer? And they are now going to be more aggressive for you guys. Tasers and shields are also very effective, and I've always found that to be one of my least favorite combinations. Get tased, can't shoot, you're, you're completely stationary, so can't shoot around the shield. They will slowly shoot you to death. Uh, gangsters are also going to do less damage to you. This was a quite an important change, actually, but I'm not sure whether you guys noticed here. I can't remember whether the beta version gangsters in rats were all that powerful, but now they're certainly a lot weaker. So weapons, silenced guns are much better. Silenced weapons are now just generally better. They're going to do more damage. It's certainly worth picking up those ghost perk if you're interested in using a silenced primary. The weapon system has been, as I said, overhauled using numeric values. Um, and selecting equip mod will display the base mod and skill stats. Oh yeah, that'll just move your stats around and show what's, what it's doing. It's a nice way to compare which mods you want to be using. Finally, this is the very last thing. There are lots of skill changes, lots of improvements to the skills, mainly, except for maybe Dominator and Joker that has been nerfed. Um, you can trade your intimidated enemies, though, through Dominator. ECM jammers can now be used to open ATMs, and feedback is a lot better. Really good ECM update. Feedback is a fantastic skill, and I wish more people realized that. Silent Killer buffed. Um, ECM feedback potency already said. Silent drilling was quite a big change. It actually makes it so they really can't hit anything when fully upgraded and can let you drill through sort of not fully stealth missions. Uh, civilians are no longer affected by ECM feedback while enemies are more effective. It's, it's going to be a real pain. You can use it quite aggressively as you've seen before. And the inside man asset is added so you can buy, uh, is, is changed sorry, so you can buy expert driver as I said before. Uh, sentry guns are also better, as I said, sentry guns are actually quite powerful and can be worth using, but of course shape charges make missions so much easier. Anyway, that's about a 15 minute long video, I haven't done one this long in a very long time, might be coming up tomorrow morning because the upload time is difficult on it. I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed whatever the hell I put in the background because this is a long video 
going to probably fill about pff, 10 minutes worth of gameplay now. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope that the Xbox update comes soon for you guys. I can't wait for it. And I'll be playing with you guys when it comes out. Thanks, guys. See you in a bit.